Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am back with another installment of the Squish and another installment of our Tiny House Zodiac series that I've been doing on the channel here for a couple of months. Basically what that is, is I create tiny houses based on the zodiac signs and I am doing them, uh, kind of coordinating it with when those zodiac signs are present and currently in effect. So right now we are in Sagittarius season, which is the zodiac sign that falls between November 22nd and December 21st. And fun fact, this is my zodiac sign. I am a December 17th baby, I guess. Uh, and so I've been excited to do this one, even though I don't personally really relate to a good chunk of this zodiac sign. There's a couple of things. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about this sign and why I chose the things that I did. Uh, none of this is going to be set in stone to explain every person that is a Sagittarius. Of course, uh, none of the zodiac signs I feel like can represent every single person. So uh, keep that in mind. This is just supposed to be a fun way to come up with a build. I've been enjoying this series so far. I think this is our, I think this is our fourth or fifth sign we've done so far. If you'd like to see any of the previous zodiac sign tiny houses that we have created, there is a playlist on the channel and uh, you should definitely check it out. Of course, the next zodiac sign after this one will be Capricorn followed by Aquarius as we are going in order. So also keep that in mind. So for the tiny house for this sign, I really wanted to make sure it was a tiny house on wheels because one of the things that I always find when I look up things about Sagittarius people or Sagittarius Sims is that they love to travel and are very like curious and want to explore. And that's not something I personally experience, but that was a very prevalent thing in my research and something I've heard my entire life. So I thought a way to nod to that would be a tiny house on wheels since, you know, it's a tiny house series. And I love building things like this. So we have a house here that is on its own like little trailer piece that is connected to this truck. And I wanted to decorate it in a way that I thought would look really nice. I wanted something neutral and it's a little bit like bohemian inspired. <laughs> I really like how it came out. It's a little bit of my own personal style, but also it was a style that kept coming up when I was looking up things about Sagittarians. So that was one that I wanted to basically uh, incorporate into this build as much as possible. Another popular thing was the colors of purple and deep blues, but I didn't really like how that looked prominently on the outside of the build. You probably noticed at one point in time, I did have this whole house be a navy blue color, but then I really dove into the idea of a more bohemian look and I had pops of purple flowers throughout. Also inside, this window was glitching really badly and I couldn't figure out what to do about it. So I just kind of cover it with curtains you can still see it, but it's not as obvious. And I thought that that worked pretty well. Also, this tiny house is on a diagonal. So it's a really small one. The proportions are a little bit strange, but I think it made it so much more interesting. I love how this came out. This is actually only 29 tiles. So it's technically a micro home and uh, it's like 22,000 simoleons. So just over the price of a starter home. So this is the layout we're gonna go for. We have like a one tile bathroom, but it's closer to like one and a half ish tiles, slightly bigger because of the diagonal space, which I think worked out nicely. It just ends up having a toilet and a shower in it because we do have the sink and the kitchen space. So you don't really have to worry about uh, using too much space for all of that and uh, trying to fit in as much as possible. So in here, I do have a mini fridge and a stove or an oven, I guess. I didn't use a regular oven. I felt that this saved more space. And then we have an open counter for your Sims to go ahead and prep food on. And I wanted to get some cabinetry up here as well. And I ended up putting some shelves between them, I'm pretty sure, to utilize the space the best I could because it's not full tiles. So I just wanted it to look really cute and slightly cluttered, but like not too busy, if that makes sense. So let's read a little bit more about Sagittarius. Uh, so it says that we are adaptable and flexible and a little blunt. Uh, <laughs> we might be told that we're a little bit too honest and forthcoming, maybe a little bit too arrogant. I don't know if I come off that way online, but when I was reading that, I was like, okay, maybe parts of Sagittarius are very me. I'm 
so honest when somebody asks me for my opinion on something. Not sure if that's the Sagittarius or that's the autism, but I am very <laughs> blunt with my responses and a lot of my friends and family appreciate that. It's kind of funny. Um, like my best friend Katie or my grandma or something, they will ask me for my opinion on like a piece of clothing or furniture or whatever because they know if I think it's ugly, I'm going to tell them that it's ugly. <laughs> so I don't know if that's just me, but I thought that that was quite fun. Anyway, the kitchen space really came together and I wanted to have a really cozy bedroom space in here. I was loving these curtains from high school years. I think that they look so, so cute in here. I just, I felt like it was so appropriate that one of my favorite design styles to build in in The Sims is what I got to use to create a build for the Zodiac sign that I have been assigned. So that's really cool. It's not my style in real life, although I feel like I don't have a style in real life. I kind of bounce between a bunch of different ones. There's so many that I like, but this is one of my favorite decorating styles in The Sims. So it was definitely fun to do this for this Zodiac sign, and I hope you will enjoy it. If you do like this build and you would like to download it, it will be available on The Sims 4 Gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So a little bit more about the stereotypical Sagittarian. Apparently, we are on a perpetual quest for knowledge, which is every sign at this point. I think I mentioned that in the last video. I feel like every time I read anything about any zodiac sign, we all are on a quest for knowledge. Let me know what knowledge you are seeking because same. Um, anyway, I already mentioned that we're brutally honest, which can lead to like misunderstandings and hurt feelings. I relate to that part. But it says we don't take anything too seriously. So it's hard for us. Um, it's hard for people to stay mad at us because we're wild optimists. And I don't know if I would say I'm an optimist, but th that's interesting because I, I would say I'm a little bit more of a pessimist personally. Uh, but like I said, all of these signs can be interpreted to each person. And I know I've had a lot of comments when I've said that I don't fully relate to this sign to like look into my star signs and mo rising signs. I don't know all the words. I don't remember. And I tried to at one point and I had no idea what I was looking at. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I will look into that again at some point. I'm not entirely sure, but I guess due to our quest for knowledge, we make incredible storytellers, entertainers, and creatives, which I don't know. Am I a good storyteller? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea, but I guess entertaining to some extent, even though I don't think I'm that entertaining, I do have this platform where I create content that some people consume, so maybe I am entertaining. <laughs> you can let me know. And I would like to say I'm creative. I've always been in like creative fields. I started off with graphic design and now I'm creating houses in The Sims. So I think that does work for me. So those all kind of check the boxes. And the, the main thing that I really focused on for The Sim was liking adventure and exploring. I kind of have them parked here in Copperdale as I was thinking maybe this was the original town they were from and they're just currently visiting on their way through to visit family, but then they're gonna go off next maybe to Mount Komarebi or wherever. They're, they're always traveling around in their tiny house on wheels. I loved that idea. And since they also like exploring and like hiking and all of that sort of stuff. I included a couple of nods to that as well. I have a bike outside and I have some of the hiking equipment. I don't know if that's what you would call it. It's some of the decorative pieces that came with Snowy Escape that are like gloves and stuff for climbing the mountain. So I included all of that. I'd be very curious if you are also a Sagittarius, which parts of this do you relate to? Which parts do you not relate to? I think it's so interesting to see how we are all so different, even if we fall into this zodiac sign that tells us that we are all this one specific way, kind of how all of them are. None of us really fit into a full box. So I'd just be really curious which ones you relate to if you also share this zodiac sign. Anyway, I kind of ran rambled over a good chunk of this build, you'll see that there are a couple of pops of purple throughout to kind of nod to those color schemes that I had mentioned. So we have the purple flowers on the outside, we have a rug inside, uh, purple curtains. I really like the touches I put in here and the little personal pieces that I have throughout. There's lots of plants in here as well. Like I said, this is very much my Sims building aesthetic. <laughs> I really, really enjoy it. I also love the ottoman that I have in front of the window and the little desk nook. 
I just think it looks so nice and I tried to incorporate a lot of storage in this space as well. So it looks like your sim has places to store all of their clothes and all of that. Uh, but we're heading outside now to work on the exterior, which I don't put too much out here because, you know, I'm assuming they're just kind of parking here. But there are a couple of things that are probably more permanent structures or maybe they store somewhere. Maybe there's some storage underneath the vehicle or goes in the back of the truck. Uh, but I do have a bike out on the porch and then I'm getting a bunch of evergreen trees here that match the environment around here. I do that a lot with my landscaping and basically I just look around a lot and see what is placed in the world and I try to replicate those plants. Uh, a lot of these plants are not in the regular Build By catalog. They're actually in Show Live Edit Objects, which is a cheat you can enter. Uh, so I am grabbing the ones from high school years that are placed around this world and I really wanted to place some of the rocks because there were a lot of them in this area and I just feel like it feels a little bit more nestled in this way. Uh, so just grabbing a bunch of those, trying to scale them to ways that make it look realistic, lots of shrubs, and I do quite a bit of terrain painting as well. And I will be getting like a barbecue, not a barbecue, a fire pit outside as well, which I think looks really nice. I think that's either a thing that's always there or maybe they put it together or throw it in the back of their car. I'm trying to remember which version I put down because if it's one of the metal ones, you know, they could bring that with them. But I think it might be the one that's like stone and sticks. So maybe they just put that together while they were parked here to do some um, roasting of marshmallows or what other kinds of foods they want out here. Yeah, I think I did get the rock one. I did. Yeah. So that's fine. <laughs> I'm not mad about that. And then we just have some seats that are made out of rocks as well. I thought that that blended in nicely since I did put so many rocks around this environment. And that's pretty much it for this build. I love how this one came out and I was really nervous about it because like I said, I really didn't know how to represent my own zodiac sign. So let me know how you think I did. And I hope you are looking forward to the next build, which is going to be Capricorn, which should be out in a couple of weeks. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you do like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I would love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy those screenshots. Bye everyone.